Officially a 15-yard personal foul penalty assessed against the Blazers on first down. It's play action into the flats. Pass is caught. And a short gain to the 43-yard line. We spoke with number 17 at length this past week, and he revealed to us for the first time he was quite banged up a year ago. Off right tackle. Ball came out. Let's check and see if JSU recovered the fumble. I believe they did. Get back in plus territory, Kelly. Yeah, the first really big development, and you're right. Get a hat right on the football. It's the second defender. So many times that happens. The running back typically sees number one, but it's the guy coming from the side that can dislodge to kind of see this rebuilding project all the way through. The fly sweep back to Johnson. Sanders, all kinds of real estate. Into JSU territory and brought down short of the 35. Rajay Johnson Sanders, the former number one junior college recruited wide receiver in the country, just picked up 46. In the second quarter lead to a different type of run play. We saw inside zone, and this time it's the fly sweep to Johnson Sanders, and it's just a changeup because of what Jacksonville State is doing to try to overrun the outside. Play action, Johnson across the middle, wide open. Pass is caught, Davis has it. First down and goal for UAB. Side tonight. And what the defense has to do to respond to that outside zone, which is what we see right there, it's play action pass. Everybody is transitioning on defense from the run game to pass defense, and those back end and that front end get separated. And that's what you see Davis taking advantage of. How about the toss by Johnston? That was right in stride to Davis for the gain of 30. Yeah, he's gotten better. At have to get lathered up to stop the run. Look for Johnson to potentially keep it. He'll flip it out. Johnson Sanders to the pylon for the easy touchdown. That counts as a touchdown pass. Johnston getting it done on that possession with completions of 46 and 30 yards. And the band's playing for UAB. Getting it done for the second time on that possession as UAB strikes first on a steamy night here in Alabama. Punt was blocked. There's the Blazers special teams picked up and recovered at the 15 yard line. Play of the football. UAB does so many little things right, and there were times when on tape that Jacksonville State shoots themselves in the foot. Cash gets that right hand up and blocks that right there. Got him right in the elbow. UAB's buttoned up in so many little areas. They, they He's made 10 in a row going back, obviously, to last season. And on the way, he'll split the pipes. Blazers extend their lead, 62 seconds, make it 56 seconds now remaining. Yeah, the two started coaching together 34 years ago. Asheville High School underway now in our third quarter. A little trickeration. They're going to flip it back to Johnson, who has a target wide open. It's his tight end, Hayden Pittman. First reception of the night for number 10 in green and white. And Jalen Swain escorted him out of bounds, but he picked up 32 and a nice-looking play. Back to how UAB started the game. We talked a lot about the outside zone, and that's outside zone looking. And now it's a reverse and throw the ball back to. You can see him down here on the sideline. He has got passion in his eyes and always a vocal leader on the sideline. That life of the party, he was trying to hype up everybody when they trailed Marshall in the Conference USA Championship game. On cue, back of the end zone, back to another tight end for a touchdown. It's Garrett Prince. Harper in coverage. He was toasted that time, and Prince has had a very good start to this 2021 campaign this evening. Bucks going back to the first half. One more look, Garrett Prince from 23 out. Billy, we talked about it. If UAB gets off on this first drive, is it lights out? We'll have to wait and see, but Derek Cooper's gonna, all of that is so much to overcome. We'll see how Bama responds in week one. Typically they respond fairly well under Nick Saban. Time for Johnson, pass is caught by Shropshire. His first touch of the game into plus territory. Number 11 beats his chest. He just doesn't have an answer for any of it defensively. If UAB is running the football as the receiver starts inside and then works his way back out, two receivers outside. 
Tyler's brother Thomas also played football for UAB in recent years, now plays baseball. Delayed handoff, McBride with an easy first down. There is a penalty flag. Ball comes out, recovered by the Gamecocks. Well, a lot happening on that sequence. Let's check the penalty. And if it's against UAB, Jacksonville State with new life. I believe it's going to be a holding on Hayden Pittman, the tight end that was trying to seal the edge. Yeah, yet another opportunity, and still I think is the one that strips the football and Tolis gets on it. Remember that fumble by McBride on that vaunted UAB run in the first half. Jacksonville State couldn't take advantage of it, and this is McBride once again, the three points of contact. You have it in your wrist, you have it on your forearm, you have it on your bicep, and it's rarely the first guy that knocks it loose, it's the second guy, but well blocked elsewhere. The progression stuff and checking down when nothing is deep is what I think he's doing really well. He's completed his last 10 passes in a row, make it 11. First down and goal for UAB. Gowdy in coverage, and guess who? Shropshire, third catch of this third quarter. Ryan Vincent said that Tyler Johnston is the best deep ball passer that he's coached in 25 years of coaching. And I saw him in warm-ups. He doesn't seem to have a particularly strong arm, but he throws the ball really well, and Shropshire goes up and high. 11 straight completions. That last one goes for 42. From the 10, another path to the pylon. Brown, touchdown UAB. Really bounce it outside because the zone run is all about the bang, which we've seen, plant your foot and go. And this is the first time that it's an outside bounce. What we haven't seen is the bend backside. Last year when you put number one on tape, he was premature banging it outside or bending it backside. Rarely did he stay at the point of attack. Jermaine Brown is doing a really good job with that this evening. What's the three Bs again? Bang, bounce, and bend in the outside zone run game. I love it when you answer your own questions. The shout out to Nick Schusler. Early this week, talking with us as a guy that he patterned himself after. There's P.J. Wells, and that's a first down on a nice pass and a great reception. Mole knocked him out of bounds. Wells gets the first down. Pass over the coverage, but before the safety can come off the hash, that's a very difficult throw to make, and he makes it look easy at times. I remember correctly. Yeah, the Georgia game will be interesting because the dogs beat Clemson. You're going to come in, maybe you got a chance to overlook a team like UAB. If they lose to Clemson, then maybe they're a bit angry as Prince picks up another first down in a gain of 31. A game that has been dominated by the Blazers. Here comes pressure. Johnson nowhere to run. He was bottled up quickly. DJ Coleman got there first. And he'll lose three yards to bring up fourth down. Of him, He's the stand-up guy in the end number two. And he's the consistent element. This time he goes inside, man, and that just is unacceptable. Put him in at running back. First down and goal and see if he can jump over the line and score a touchdown. Wells, the intended target, blanketed again by McWilliams. Was coming. And we certainly appreciate the effort there, but Bill going to get the best of John, and that's another touchdown toss for UAB. And Dylan Hopkins checking in moments ago. Shropshire. His third touchdown going back to last season. And everything coming up golden for UAB. They have found some answers with their tight end position. Rajay Johnson Sanders and now Trey Shropshire getting it done from the backup. Dylan Hopkins, 31 0. Certainly fits the recruiting template that Jimbo wants at this point in time. And so, yeah, it's it's all about closing the gap on Alabama for a and They've done essentially everything else, but after the great year last year, as we see a really nifty run back on the punt. Punt of 37, a return of 26 by Starling Thomas. UAB gets it back. And certainly they will have much to talk about in the coming days and weeks, and that's going to do it. UAB 
Tosses a shutout. Week number one, the final 31. Nothing, Kelly. Final thoughts. UAB's tough. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.